So today I'm going to show you my ways of using the Kong. Hope you like this idea. I would like to hear your ideas on how to use this Kong. Now, one mistake that I want you guys to know that I did was I got it too small. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I don't think Roxy can really put her tongue in there, but my other dog could. So I'm gonna use this for the other dog if Roxy doesn't like it. I will go back to the store and get a bigger one. I will still use the same method of um, putting treats in here. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please subscribe, like it, share it, and it's calm away. Okay guys, so this is what you need. I'm gonna go simple, and I think it's the best way for your dog rather than putting in just anything in your Kong, like a spray, the cheese spray, or whatever the spray they sell at the stores. Don't get that, that's just like junk food for humans. So we're, I'm gonna use their own kibble, and I could and will use their own treats. Now these two are like the best way to fill your Kong with food. You can go on on your day, leave your pet behind if you have to, and that's the best way for them to stay entertained and have a meal while you're out. That way you know they are having fun and eating at the same time. Okay, so this is what you do. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna use the kibbles first, okay? So you're gonna get some of your kibbles, and put them in here. Or heck, I could use half and half. How's that? I'm gonna use half and half. I'm gonna add water, not too much, so these can get um, a little bit soggy. Once they get soggy, they can get soft. You can put them inside your Kong. So as you see, I added just a little bit of water. I'm gonna leave it here for five minutes. Just enough for these kibbles and treats to get soft. And we'll see you back in five minutes, okay? Okay, that was more like 15 minutes, okay? So just as soon as it gets soft. Now that it gets soft, it looks like a it looks like a cereal left on milk for a while. You're gonna fill it up with this. Just be aware, it has little holes, so just be careful on how you're doing it so you don't make a mess. I'm gonna put it in here. So that's it right there. You're gonna push it down, bang it a little bit. It's gonna be nice and soft. But there you wanna leave that, that gap because you want to fill it up with something afterwards. Now, we're going to put this in the freezer. Make sure it gets nice and frozen. Wait for it, and we're going to add peanut butter to the inside so they can get that going. And once the peanut butter is uh, gone, this will most likely be thawed out. And your dog will have a small, nice meal. Just put it in the freezer. <laughs> All right, guys, now, this is completely frozen. It took about, meh, maybe two hours. You can see it's hardened inside. Um, so now, we're almost ready with this. We're gonna fill this gap with the peanut butter. This is the same peanut butter that I used for my last video. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Okay, so peanut butter, just gonna go in here. Not too much. Just enough for um, for uh, for Oxy to get going. It's like a starter. It's like the appetizer for her. Be right before she hits the real kibbles. Now, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. We are ready to give this to Roxy. 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 I got a treat for you, Roxy. Look, ready? So first what I'm doing is I'm introducing the Kong to Roxy. She's never had it before. I think she tasted it. So I'm gonna put it down. Oh, you, <laughs> you want it down. Well, I think she's got plenty of time to play with it.
Come on. So there you have it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, again, let me hear your suggestions. Maybe you might have a better idea than I do. Um, but so far, Roxy is enjoying it. She likes it. And I can't wait to show you more stuff that I'll do with her food, creating new treats for her. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.